Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code CE4274-4 error system software update required. So let's go ahead, jump in the video right now. So when you see the CE4274-4 PS4 error code, it means there's a mandatory system software update that's required before you can connect to the PlayStation 4 network. So how do we fix this? Now if you don't see a prompt for an update on your screen, go ahead and go to the home screen of the PlayStation 4, go up to the top, scroll all the way to the right to settings, select cross on this, then go all the way down until you see system software update select cross on this then go to this page now if there's an update it will prompt you to update to the latest version go through the different settings and it will automatically restart your playstation 4 and this process will probably take you about 10 to 15 minutes to complete and it'll download it from the internet now if you are having problems updating your playstation 4 using this method you can update it via usb doing an offline update which may help you and i'll link my video down below in the description for that otherwise what you could try is holding down the playstation button open up the quick menu go down to power then go to turn off and completely turn off your playstation 4. now with your playstation 4 completely turned off go ahead and find the power button which is the top one and hold that down for about 10 seconds you will hear one beep initially and then about 10 seconds later you will hear another beep Go ahead and let go of your PlayStation 4 and grab a USB cable and plug into the front of your PlayStation and connect the other end into your PlayStation 4 controller because you'll need this to operate the safe mode menu. Now go ahead and press the PlayStation button on the controller. And before we update our PlayStation 4 to the latest software update, let's go down to option number five, rebuild database. Now it says it may take a few hours to rebuild the database on the PlayStation 4, but my experience only takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Now go to OK. And it's going to go ahead and restart your PlayStation 4. And if there's any kind of memory errors going on with your PlayStation 4, this should help fix those errors. And it will also help speed up your PlayStation 4 and make it run a little bit quicker. Now this screen will pop up saying rebuilding database, and it'll give you an estimated amount of time, 4 minutes. Now with the rebuilding the database process complete, go ahead and turn off your PlayStation 4 once again and return to the safe mode menu. Now this time, go down to option number three, update system software. Now if you have the system software on a USB stick, go ahead and go to update number one. Otherwise, go to option number three, update using internet. Now I'll tell you the following version that is available for your PlayStation 4. Go to next and it's going to go ahead and download the file and update it on your PlayStation 4. And this process will take about 10 to 15 minutes to complete. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation 4 tech out videos coming up next on your six studios.